Hey everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, it's been a long day and I'm excited to be here with you today. So if you are just joining for the first time, I'm Lauren Weyerman, the creator of Wildflowers and uh, we love to go live and teach all kinds of art techniques every week. So um, we just are coming off of Glow Week and hopefully you were able to see some of the amazing stuff that we created for Glow Week. We had several lives last week. Uh, last week, let's see, we had Rosanna who went live on Monday. She's working on fantasy pieces. Uh, Erin went live on Wednesday and did a really cool, um, like salon style glow in the dark sort of wilderness, um, scene type of thing with glowing stars. They were beautiful. And, uh, then we had a special guest, Carly Snare, Snare, oh gosh, I always screw up her name. Anyway, Carly, she's amazing. Um, she went live on Friday and was incredible. Sorry, just adjusting. Oh, that's much better. I have a hoodie on with an apron and I was like, why do I feel like I'm choking? <laughs> anyway, um, she did such a cool design uh, with this, like, it was like a hippy dippy glow in the dark happy faces. And she taught us how to paint with the glow powders mixed with the wildflowers gel polish. So if you all missed any of those, uh, we have them on our Facebook page. We also put those on the website. So uh, I don't know if you've seen, but we have an awesome website. And on our website, if you go to uh, the tabs or the menu part, uh, you can click on that and you can find awesome tutorials. So yeah, Carly was amazing. I love having guest artists at Wildflowers. It's really exciting. Um, so let me just go to our website. And so if you go to the menu, click the menu and click training, the little arrow next to training, you'll be able to find the lives. What's really cool about um, checking them out on our website is that we link the products right there that the person used. So if you're looking for something in particular, or you see a technique that was done and you're like, I need that exact brush or that exact gel polish. We get those questions a lot. Like what's this person using? I don't know what they're using. Uh, if if you watch the live from our website we have like a cover on it which is nice because you'll be able to actually find the live that you're looking for hopefully but in addition to that the products are linked below so that you can see exactly what the person is using so hopefully uh, you will check that out when you have a chance but glow week was awesome uh, and I think we are going to do another glow week probably in late September, maybe during Master Artist Week when we're all at Master Artist Week in Fort Myers, Florida. So uh, it will be another fun, another fun glow week from Wildflowers. I'm looking forward to it very much. Uh, glow Week's one of my favorite weeks that we do. So uh, in addition to all the cool stuff that we had last week, we've got really nice stuff going forward for this week. Thanks, Jess. I curled it. Uh, <laughs> which I don't do very often, but this morning I was like, darn it, I'm going to curl my hair. So here it is. But, uh, we don't, um, we, we have a lot of exciting stuff going on at Wildflowers. This week coming is painting gel week. So today I am going to teach you one of my favorite techniques. I was actually on YouTube looking around. There's not many tutorials for it, um, about how to paint like a maple leaf, one that is bright fall colors. So I'm excited to teach that today on tonight's tutorial. And um, hopefully you'll be able to utilize that in the salon. I'm going to be working with the Wildflowers painting gels tonight to teach that technique. Um, before I get going, I just wanted to mention what's on sale on the website. We have boxes. It's box season again. We only do boxes once or twice a year. So we have these great starter boxes on our website. Um, we have a uh, art box. We have a press on box and we have a like poly gel painting gel box which is awesome so all of those boxes available on the website wildflowersnails.com if you want to check those out and let's see okay i think that's 
pretty much it. Uh, oh, we added a tab on our website. If you go to shop and you go all the way down to the bottom, you can hit the one that says sale and it will just take you right to what's on sale, which is great. Everybody loves that, right? So um, this week our focus is the painting gels and I'm excited to let you know that uh, we have heard, we love listening to custer, customer feedback about stuff and a lot of you ex have expressed that you would love to see us sell our painting gels in smaller like batches or smaller bundles. So uh, this week, starting tomorrow, we are going to get those launched. I'm probably gonna get them on the website tonight after I'm done here. Uh, but we will be doing bundles of our painting gels to make them a little bit more affordable if you just wanna buy them in like little sets. Uh, so we will have those, I think we have four, or five, six, seven, eight eight different smaller bundles. So we're gonna have bundles of six colors and bundles of like three colors. So the six colors, you're gonna see typically like a Roy G. Biv type of thing happening. So it might be like the pastel colors. Um, we'll have one with like muted pastels. We'll have one with some nice bright, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And then um, the three packs are gonna be sort of supplemental. Like I want every shade of green. So we're gonna have uh, like a three pack of three different shades of green or three different shades of pink, stuff like that. Uh, we have one that's three neutral colors that I absolutely love. So uh, we'll be doing them that way to just make them a little bit more affordable for everybody, which I love. So if you're here with us tonight, thanks for joining. Uh, I'm excited to teach. I hope you're ready to learn. Um, I don't have my stuff out. So as I get it out, I will tell you what you need to grab. On a side note, Triple Threat, an in-person event we're having is coming up this weekend coming. And then we have Master Artist Week, which is a big in-person event that we have coming. So uh, super duper exciting. Okay, Nikki. Nikki wants a Kelly green. I will have to check and see uh, what I can find, but we might be able to do that. Um, okay, so to do a maple leaf, first thing I want you to grab is I want you to grab the white gel polish from Wildflowers. So that is going to be a color called tissue paper. I feel like my daughter, do any of you have daughters that like to get into your nail stuff? I definitely have a daughter that likes getting into my nail stuff. And so I, I, I have more than one daughters that like getting into my nail stuff. My little one, look at this. Can you see like the gel around here? I can't stand that. Um, my 26 year old will come in here and just start doing a press on set and then like have an ADHD moment and leave it like half baked in the light. Like surprise mom. And then, um, you know, it doesn't finish it. And then my, uh, seven year old will come and she will just like, I have a standing desk. So she'll just like feel around on my table and knock over some gel polishes and then be like, Oh, Oh wait, did I knock that over? And then, and there'll be like gel all over my table. I'm like, where did this come from? Who <laughs> did this? So, um, I have that happening and then, you know, I'll just have stuff disappear too. So, uh, <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Jess. Yeah, I love our painting gels and I'm really excited to do a lot of education. I've got about 12 courses that I've written um, and these courses are going to have a place that they're going, so don't worry, I'll announce all about that soon. But um, I'm gonna flip down the camera in a second and I'm gonna show you um, some of the beautiful nails that I've done all with the painting gels. I'm obsessed with our painting gels. I don't care what anybody says, I think our painting gels are probably the best in the industry, if not like one of the best. I don't really know, like, I mean, I know a couple other brands have painting gels, but we have like 50 colors. And my favorite thing about them is, I mean, they have a really long shelf life. The shelf life is like three years. That's just like what they have to put. But believe me, I've had um, gels from that I've had manufactured for us like to test for probably going on six years now. So always good to know that you're getting a gel that has a long shelf life. So, but I love them because they come in tubes and I love the tubes because they're not messy. I don't know how many pots of gel, like I want to get spider gels made in these. Like that's my next thing. Like when we have to like do spider gels again, I'm going to fight to get them in tubes like this because how much easier would it be in a tube, right? 
um, but I can't tell you from traveling and I mean we travel to go to classes like every every nail artist that you know is really like able to go to classes um, that travels to classes appreciates the tubes because uh, they are so messy. So look at this, like there is no mess. This this tube of gel I've had for probably like two years now, no mess, obsessed. I love no mess. So I like, of course the tubes are great, but of course the colors are super pigmented. They don't move on you. They're meant for really doing art. They're meant to do one stroke. They're meant to be diluted. They're not really meant to cover in big areas. Like if you want to color a giant area on a nail, use gel polish. Our gel polish has plenty of pigment for that. But when it comes to doing like true art uh, in like the form of watercolor or uh, one stroke or portraits or anything like that, these painting gels are like unmatched there's just nothing like it that exists in our industry and um i love them so that's me just going on about them but our customers love them too i think it's i think what it is is you have to really understand what they're for so it's it's not it's not like i just want to paint you know like an apple imagine painting like a red apple back to school you're doing the teacher and she wants an apple on her nail okay um, if I was going to paint an apple, I would probably do the outline of the apple with one of the painting gels. And then I would use a red gel polish to just color in the apple because easy peasy. These are like, I'm going to do, well, you'll see, you'll see the art that I've done. It's just a whole different level of art and a whole different level of ability. So I don't want to say it's for people who are advanced, um, because that wouldn't completely be true, but it's for those who really um, need like versatile products to be able to create the art that they want to create in the salon because there are some um, things that are good for you know certain techniques and other things good for other techniques so these are what you want for one stroke these are what you want for doing like aquarelle and watercolor techniques uh, these are what you want for doing portraits these are what you want for I mean, I want them for everything. I'm, I'm doing a whole series of like salon art that can be done with them, uh, but it looks so, I don't know, I'm excited to show you. Okay, back to what you wanna grab. You wanna grab tissue paper, that's our white gel polish. You're gonna wanna grab the Wildflowers Matte Top Coat. All right, so grab your matte top coat. If you're following with me, grab this stuff. I'm gonna go kind of like slow on this part so everybody can grab it. Um, another thing that you wanna grab is, we're gonna do this all, sometimes I do it with inks, but I'm gonna do it today all with painting gels for you. So um, some colors I wanna work with. Now we're talking about fall leaves. So I'm gonna grab several here of the painting gels. I am grabbing, thanks Nikki. I'm grabbing brick red, siren red, neon tangerine, which is gonna be like a nice bright orange. I'm even gonna grab this one called coral, which is another sort of orangey shade. So I've got all of these orangey shades um, that I'm just gonna kind of grab up and have ready to go. Um, what else do we want in a fall leaf? Uh, maybe the color chocolate, if you have chocolate. Chocolate is kind of a warm brown. Um, we're gonna get this one kind of like remixed for the next batch that we do for chocolate and try to like tone down the warmth in it a little bit. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you're like a collector of all things wildflowers. You might notice that the brown is going to um, change a little bit. Like we're sold out of it right now, I'm pretty sure we have none left of this one that's like the really warm, um, the really warm tone brown, but our next one's gonna be more of a neutral. So really in for a good brown. Uh, let's see, um, maybe even a touch of green. Maybe like neon green would be a good one to use. I'm gonna go with this neon green and I think we need a yellow. Uh, how about, I'm gonna grab like school bus yellow because we need bright yellow. These are fall leaves, right? Okay, cool. Um, so a handful. So just like go, if you have, oh gosh, here we go, knocking stuff over. If you have the painting gels, grab every color that looks like it could be like 
a fall color. Just do that. That'll work, right? Grab all those. And then for brushes. Oh gosh. Hello. I have this new uh, camera set up that I'm trying and I don't quite have it completely tweaked perfectly yet. Sorry for that. Uh, anyway, for brushes, what you want to do is you want to grab, um, you can use like, there's a few you can use. You can use a gold brush, okay, which is this one. And just to show you close up, looks about like that. It's like a striper brush, but it's not a super long one. Um, you can grab magenta if you really want to. I don't know that we're going to use the magenta, but the magenta is sort of like a, a shorter, super fine brush. Absolute must is the indigo brush. So if you just ordered the art box from Wildflowers that we have, these boxes that we're doing have like almost $300 worth of product. Some of them have more than $300 worth of product in them. Um, the indigo brush does come in the art box. So if you have ordered the art box, you have an indigo brush on its way to you. We're gonna be working with the indigo brush and I'm gonna teach you sort of how to dilute the painting gels uh, using alcohol. So just isopropyl alcohol is great. I just buy mine at the drugstore. I just refill it in this pump bottle. Um, if you need a pump bottle, I'm sure you'll be getting one if you've ordered any of our boxes. Like we have so many pump bottles, we could build a fort out of pump bottles. So anytime we do a box or anything, we do pump bottles. So just know that you'll probably be getting a pump bottle if you got one of our boxes. Um, so alcohol in a pump bottle is definitely what you want. And I think that's it. I think, I feel like that's it. Let me attempt with my new camera holder, I'm going to attempt to put you down. Now if Facebook bugs out on me, we shall see what happens. Hopefully it does not bug out on me. Okay, I um, just need to move it slightly so you can see. <laughs> I'm like, well, almost perfect. Okay, great, that was pretty smooth. I feel okay about that. All right, let me um, get in here. Sorry for the wibble wobble, just give it a second and I'll stop. Um, let me get in here and just kind of walk you through So essentially all of these are created using the wildflowers painting gel. Some of them I used a little bit of ink, uh, but this is what we're gonna do tonight are these uh, maple leaves. I'm gonna pluck them out of here. Um, but a lot of this, uh, it's just the wildflowers painting gel. So lots of really cool stuff. Um, even down here, a lot of this stuff is painting gels. I've got some over here just messing around. Lions, tigers, owls, um, all sorts of like cool stuff for fall. Fall is my favorite season, definitely. So um, love all this kind of stuff. But there's just so many things that you can do with the painting gel. So I'm excited to um, I'm excited to do this and oh one more thing uh, we can grab we'll do it after is we'll do uh, kind of like a blue in the background. I like to make the background kind of look like the sky a little bit because color theory for a moment orange and blue are opposites right? So when I am uh, doing like an orangey fall leaf, it really does look nice to just pop a little blue in that background. So it's not just on some stark white backdrop. Um, the other thing that I also noticed about the anatomy of this leaf is that this little part here doesn't actually go down. It's supposed to go up, but we'll fix that. We'll fix it on the next one we do. So I will set these over here and... I love being able to do stuff like this in the salon because I feel like it's one of those sort of like magical things that, I don't know, it's really not that hard to do this. And I'm gonna show you, um, let me raise my desk up a bit. I'm gonna show you um, that it's really not very hard to do this. That being said, uh, I love doing stuff like that in the salon because I feel like it really impresses the client. Oh my gosh, can you tell I ate some talkie? 
please don't tell my kids. It's like sucking the red stuff. You know, you wash your hands and it's just not enough with Takis. <laughs> I have to like sticky tack the evidence out of my fingerprints when I eat Takis. Isn't that horrible? Okay. So I'm going to grab one of my tips. Um, we do have lots of different options for tips at Wildflowers. We have these nails in a box. Um, and if you're ordering the press-on kit, you'll get a lot of them. Uh, they will, you will get them in the box, which is great. So first thing we're going to do is a coat of the Wildflowers tissue paper gel polish. So this is no big deal, quick and easy. Uh, when I do this type of, uh, this type of design, let me put these back in frame here. When I do this type of design with the leaves, um, I do like to um, I, I don't even know what I was going to say. Sorry, I got totally sidetracked. I like to, oh, oh, I know. I like to work on a white background and I like for it to be matte. I, and it's totally personal preference, but when you really get into doing art, you'll feel a difference of the way it feels to drag your brush across a nail that's shiny versus matte. So I really prefer um, to have a matte surface when I'm doing like hand painted stuff. And that's just me personally. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Lacey, like honestly, I'm just gonna like say, we don't do starter boxes often. We did it for the first time back in like February maybe or March or April. Um, we probably will never do them more than twice a year. My husband said um, about an hour ago that this has taken 10 years off his life. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill him that fast. <laughs> so um, it is stressful for, it puts a huge stress on us because we have to build all of them. And some of the kits have like 27 things going into them and then other ones aren't like quite as difficult, but um, it is kind of funny because it, it definitely stresses my husband out when we do these kits because they're just very, um, it's not like, oh, let me order, you know, a few colors of gel polish and somebody kind of run, runs around and gets your stuff. This is like, oh my gosh, so much stuff. And it's way, I won't even sell it to my distributors because I can't. I don't have enough margin to even be able to sell it to a distributor if that gives you any indication of the volume of stuff inside of it. Like I wish I could sell them to my distributors, but we just have the price so low that there's no room for me to even do that. Um, the retail value of the product is like, oh my gosh, um, definitely like $300. Some of them are a little bit more. And, you know, to sell it at a distributor for 150 when I'm selling it to you guys for 99 um, definitely won't work. I can't even sell it to a distributor for 99 because there's just no, there's just no, like we're, we don't even really make, we don't make a profit off of them. Like we're not profiting off of them. What it does is it helps us to, um, move some of the things that we over ordered um, because we just never know when I I'm the one who orders stuff at wildflowers right and when we're ordering things uh, we're taking our best guess as to you know how much to order is this going to be super popular are people like not going to care about it or not like it so when I'm ordering I do my best guesses and when we find ourselves with um, you know, more than what we need, or it's taking up space and driving us crazy. Uh, at that point, it's a good idea for us to try to do um, put, you know, put it in some of the boxes. We always do our big sale um, around. Uh, is that a fuzz? I am like infected with fuzzes today. We always do our big sale. Um, and November 1st is when we do that. So we do it then too. But it really is great to be able to just move it out rather than like having to run around and gather up, you know, 20 little things that people order. It's really nice to be able to just send it all in a box. Um, it just takes a lot of manpower and a lot of hours. So this was the matte top coat that I just put on here. It takes a lot of hours and a lot of manpower to build all the boxes. So, um, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay now. We got off to a, we, we have very little space in our warehouse. So um, in addition to 
uh, you know, just how complex they can be to build. Uh, having a lack of warehouse space to do it makes it an extra challenge. So we're coming up with creative places to kind of, we have to go in sort of after hours when nobody's shipping and like try to build these boxes because we all wouldn't be able to be up there working at the same time. So definitely adds an element of uh, crazy to uh, what we have going on and I have the type of personality where I'm like, cool, bring on the crazy. My husband definitely does not. So because of that, um, you know, I have to be considerate. <laughs> All right, so this is where we get to decide what to do our outline with. And I'm kind of torn between brick red and neon tangerine. I want you to look closely at these ones that are already done. Um, hopefully you can tell, uh, the outline was done in either a red or an orange. And I like to outline in red or orange because I like to be able to kind of come back and pull those colors back through. So, uh, I'll probably go with the red just, just because. Sounds like fun. Um, and I'm sure you'll be able to see it if I do it in red. So I'm going to, I'm working on a silicone mat here. I'm just gonna put a little dab of that down. Um, somebody had was like, oh, it, having tubes is wasteful. And I was like, well, not if you work with a palette with a lid. Um, I own the company, you know? So like, I definitely have access to an unlimited supply of painting gel as the company owner. Um, however, we do have uh, palettes with lids that we sell um, as a convenience, more than anything, um, I mean, you can go to Walmart and get one if you really want one, but um, we have them as well. Um, I'm looking around my office to see if I have one handy here. Um, but yeah, if you work with a palette with a lid, then it's not wasteful at all because these gels will last you like, I mean, until they're cured and they're not going to move around. I mean, you can see the viscosity of it. So, oh, my doggy's having a dream. Do you hear him having a dream? <laughs> Poor thing. All right. So here we go. I am going to start doing the outline. Now, if it's your first time ever doing like a maple leaf and you're like, um, I don't even know like where to begin making the shape of a maple leaf. Basically, it has like one two, three. It's almost like a flower when I teach y'all the five petal flower. Four, five, and then the stem is gonna be like somewhere right here, just to kind of like put it into perspective. So if you need to start your um, maple leaf this way by all means or if you want to take like a screenshot if you're watching from your phone of like how to get it started I don't start it like this typically because I um, have the ability in my brain to sort of just like imagine it and do it but I realized from years of teaching that not everyone can do that so if you picture like a person right here and they spread out their arms and spread out their legs and they have a long tail between their legs. Like, I don't know what would have, what has a tail that long. Um, a lion maybe? Um, something with a very long tail <laughs> or like a panther um, coming from between their legs and just dragging behind them. Uh, but this would be like a head and a hand and a hand and a foot and a foot if, if they were just spreading all of their limbs way out. So that's what I imagine in my head and that's what I kind of... Um, I don't know, tell people when I'm teaching. So, uh, and you can even leave that there and like you can reposition if you don't like where that is. Like if you're like, that's too low. Well, you can just leave it there. We're not gonna cure this yet. So to do the outline of a maple leaf, you're gonna have like little spiky places. Sort of like that. It's almost kind of like fire or like flames. And they don't have to match perfectly, which is kind of cool. And I'm just, you can see how much gel's on my brush. Like, can you see how much gel's on my brush? Hardly any gel at all. But at some point what happens is this is gonna kind of swoop. 
and start moving over to, to this one over here where we're gonna work it over there. And the same thing's gonna happen on the other side. At some point, this kind of does a swoop like that. Okay, everybody following so far. You can uh, turn the customer's hand a little bit, turn your nail a little bit. We're essentially doing the same thing over here. Just making some little spiky spots. <laughs> That's so funny. Yes, this is a very Canadian. Listen, every time I see, um, every time I see Aaron, I'm like, bring me that maple syrup candy. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I was like on a, you know, no sugar diet for a long time. And then I forget, were we going to Argentina? I feel like we were going to Argentina and like we got on the airplane and um, she handed me some like maple candy because she brought it to try to bribe people and it didn't work. And Anyway, I was like, give me that stuff. Oh my gosh, I ate it all in like five minutes flat. And I was like, oh, this is dangerous stuff. So again, like some little spikes. Okay, little spikes. Like don't overthink it, y'all. Don't overthink it. You got like this area here makes some crazy spikes. Of course, you want it to be the highest in the middle. Here's this one. There's that one. See them? And then when you're done with that section, it's gonna like swoop. So it's gonna come in, swoop, and we're gonna do another section. Don't overthink it. And we're gonna swoop right here. If you get a blob, like don't worry, like that was too much, right? <laughs> Um, Nancy, all of the flash care lights in the boxes have squishy tops. We didn't even like advertise it that way because it like, you know, so some of them are blue, some of them are silver. Um, it, I can't tell you what's going to be in what. I'm pretty sure that, I don't even know. But yeah, they have uh, flash care lights in them. All right, so we're just gonna kind of bring that up because it goes up, not down, <laughs> I discovered. And this one's gonna go off the nail, so like, bye. Perfect, okay. So that's how you do the outline for the leaf. Now, as I pointed out, like I made this one come down and I was like, something doesn't look right. And it took me a while to figure out what it was. It's because this should actually be going kind of up right there instead of down. Besides like, yeah, I know it's got a big dark green spot, but, um, but yeah, you wanna kind of have that part going up. So hopefully that made making the actual leaf shape a little bit easier for you. Um, please tell me it did if you're able to comment. I would love for you to be like, yes, thank you. That helped me so much. And if you're not able to, it's fine because you're probably trying to make your leaf and you're like, stop talking to me. I'm trying to focus. When it comes time to like switch colors or whatever, I take a cotton round. I put some alcohol in it. I put my brush in it. I fold it and I pull. And this is how I switch colors. This is how I clean my brush between. I just kind of like fold it and just, that's it. I'm not gonna need this one again until the very end when we're gonna come in and do some like little veins. So I'm not too worried right now um, about having this brush out. So I'm gonna put the lid on, set it aside. Now, we're gonna work with the indigo brush. And um, this is a brush that's like good for aquarelle. I use this brush in alcohol a lot. The tips are a little bit like, you know, weird and it's fine because I'm not using it for like crazy details or anything like that. So what we're gonna do uh, with this brush is we're actually gonna work with alcohol and this is not cured. So what you're looking at right now has not been cured. We've not put it into a light. 
I'm gonna take my pump bottle, there it is, there she is, with some alcohol. And I'm gonna get a little bit of alcohol in that well and I'm just gonna wet my brush with the alcohol. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna aim first for that little blob that I've got. But what's really cool is um, using alcohol with these paints, it's like, it's magical. It's a lot like watercolors. So we can come in here and you wanna try your best not to go outside of the lines, okay? But you can head on in here, any places where you got a little too heavy. I would just take advantage of those places to sort of pull some color into the leaf. You can pat it around if you wanna pat it. Just try not to go outside of the line. If it happens, there is a way to erase it using acetone. I like this too a lot because it really softens up. Oh yeah, girl, listen. <laughs> there is so much that you can do with our painting gels and alcohol. Like I can't even begin to like, it's a whole rabbit hole. So prepare, prepare, like get your snorkeling gear and prepare to do a deep dive because listen, yeah, I know. <laughs> You will be down the rabbit hole for days with our painting gels and alcohol and this brush. Like you could literally just be gone for days, like just disappear. We'll be like, where did she go? Oh, she figured out she could use alcohol with our painting gels and use them like watercolors. <laughs> so um, here's what I'm going to do. Like I'm going to come right out of my tube. So if you want to like, you know, if you're concerned about wasting, just go right out of your tube. It's probably way too much though. Um, and I can just come in there with some different colors. Um, I used like what, brick red or something? Get some yellow in there. Um, another way you can do this is if you would like to just, um, you know, get just get some on the tip. Oh, kind of like that. You can go right out your tube like that if you don't want to be wasteful. So however you want to use your paints, I'm not going to judge you. Use them however you want. Just get some colors in there, okay? And then we, <laughs> I'm laughing. You guys are making me laugh tonight. <laughs> I keep this pad around, okay? So if I feel like I have a little bit too much, uh, a little too much alcohol or something on there. But yeah, we can, it just melts it and just kind of melts it. And it's uh, really fun. Because you don't need to cure in between. You don't need to do anything like that. You can just come in and. Okay, so check this out. Um, yeah, isn't it cool? Did you guys know it could do that? I know, I'm excited for you to find out. Okay, we're gonna pull. Get into some of these areas and just pull. You can pat, like if you really want to pat, you can pat. Oh my gosh, I'm glad you guys are so excited. You got me so excited. I'm always excited to show y'all new stuff. So this is like an exciting discovery and I'm so happy that this is like really exciting for all of you and that you're like pumped about it. I'm so tickled, so thank you. Um, you know, sometimes we launch products. I was telling Erin, like sometimes we get into these busy seasons where we're, we know what this stuff does and we are like, oh, this stuff's amazing. But it's like, you know, there's a lot of ADHD going around in this industry and, you know, ADHDers, which I am one. So like, you know, I can talk about us. 
Um, we're really good at starting projects and not so great at finishing them. So what happens as the owner of a product company is I get super excited about stuff because I know what it does. And then I am kind of like on to the next thing because <laughs> I um, just get bored quickly with stuff. Isn't that horrible? It's horrible to like admit that. But I just do. I'm like, oh, I know everything this stuff can do. This is awesome. You should buy it. Like just buy it. Trust me, like one day a year from now, I'll show you like something amazing that you should have known this whole time that it does. So my apologies, um, but here we are nonetheless, uh, showing you all of this coolness that the painting gels can do. It looks like fire, doesn't it? I love it. So again, you can kind of see the difference like this one has uh, more of a red outline to it. This one has an orange outline. So you could even do half of the leaf uh, with a red outline and half with a, an orange outline if you feel like the red's a little harsh. What I don't want you to do is I don't want you to make the outline of the leaf black because it takes away the realistic look of it when you just make it black. And it's really up to you at this point, um, you know, if you want to add more colors to it, if you want to add some green, I sometimes like to add a little green because y'all know in the fall, um, a lot of times you'll see like little, little green here or there. Don't get crazy because you're going to make mud. I'm not trying to get you to make mud now, but I just am saying that sometimes... Bitty bit of green. Sometimes a little bitty bit of green is okay. Just a little bitty bit because we don't want mud. And if we're trying to just distribute a color, like I'm not gonna load my brush with alcohol right now, I'm just gonna pat. Just so that like the green shows up just a hair in there. See how nice and um subtle that is and if like you feel like you want more you can add more green you cannot take it away this is a uh, neon lime it's called yeah don't be afraid of neons for this stuff like you want the brightness so if you're like i just want a little bit more add more but don't go crazy because uh once you once you get too much then you got too much okay like, whoa, that could be too much. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna just pinch my brush really fast. Like, whoop, okay, that's perfect. Now I can like see it. I like it. I think my husband just came back from the warehouse. Like that little pop of green in there, right? So don't be afraid of color. Don't be afraid to add some little, you know, little pops of color. Pennsylvania is a beautiful place for fall leaves. All right. Um, cool. So uh, at this point, if you want to, you can cure. Or if you're like, no, I'm brave. If you are a brave soul, I am going to encourage you to now pick back up that gold brush. Okay. Just that little touch of chlorophyll, right? <laughs> Pick up that gold brush, get back in here. And I mean, just barely with a tiny, tiny bit. Uh oh, here comes my dog. I'm like, is he gonna jump on me while I'm doing this ridiculously detailed part of the leaf? Better not. Okay, so um, I think they're all stemming sort of from the uh, base, if I'm not mistaken. I am not an expert on maple leaves yet. I feel like I'm getting closer by the day. I feel like I'm almost mushroom expert status. <laughs> I don't know, those of you who follow me on social media, I post mushroom stuff a lot because we have a crazy amount of mushrooms. I took Erin on a mushroom hunt one time when she was here at my house and uh, it's so fun. My parents came to visit a couple weeks ago. I was like, let's go. We're finding chanterelle mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Okay. 
here's what I need to say about this. Again, like put away the black gel, y'all. Everybody loves to like pull out black. It's like, oh gosh, like if you want to make anything look realistic, don't pull out the black. We're not making like cartoon leaves. That's not, um, that's not what we're doing here. So, um, and my brush, I mean, look at the amount of gel on there. There's like no gel on there at all, hardly. So, um, you can come in and just kind of like pull and if it makes a line, it makes a line. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Don't even worry about it. Okay. If you feel like um, you had a mistake or a boo-boo or something like that and you need to clean it up, I'm going to recommend touching just a tad bit of acetone on here and coming in and like kind of just swiping. But right away after, you want to go back to getting some like gel or some alcohol in this brush. Um, okay, so this is like the base. We're going to just cure this really quickly. So we'll put this in the light. Oh, and it's so neat. I can't really show you because I'm afraid, but the neon green is glowing in there and it's just this really bright spot. <laughs> you could dump, yeah, you could dump the glow pigment on and have it glow. That would be fun. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you, uh, so you can take some light blue um, painting gel if you want and you saw how I spread the color in the leaf it's the same thing you just take a little bit on your brush like spread it around to get that background um I love this little detail of these little burnout spots on here and those little burnout spots are actually um made with ink uh because I feel like it's just the easiest way to do it and so if you have our inks it is ink five okay which is this gray color ink is how I did those little burnout spots and also if you want to do the background with um, a little bit of ink you can uh, I'm just gonna grab like where's blue sky here's blue sky now, I want you to check this out because this is like a very, very rich uh, blue. I like a blue-gray sort of. So um, that's probably, I'm literally just like touching the tip of this to the nail. Um, that's plenty. And again, with alcohol, I'm going to come in there and It's very um, kind of similar to what ink does in a way. But I love how it kind of makes it look like clouds. I know it's sort of like, it's very bright on this camera and on my desk, but I can see even more depth and detail probably than you all can on your end. Um, but I like it because it looks like you're looking up into the sky and it's just falling down towards you, um, to add just a little touch of that. So it just depends on what color you want to use. You can use something more teal or you could use something more gray. I love the gray. There's something like so comforting about, um, gray in the fall, like just soft cashmere blanket or something. And then, uh, if you want to do this little burnout, you can take your ink And you really have to wipe off like a ton of it and just barely touch in a couple spots. And I'm being so super cautious um, with that ink. Like you saw, I just was barely touching it down. So, so cautious with the ink. And then you can take some alcohol if you'd like on your indigo brush. Um, you want to roll the brush to a point. This is just isopropyl alcohol, so it's not going to hurt my skin. But, like, really try to roll it to a point before you go in here trying to, like, touch any of these little um, ink spots. But a lot of times, if you can kind of hit it with some alcohol, it'll sort of form a little, uh, like, burnout type of circle. have to let it sort of like dry and do its thing but 
I think it just looks a little bit more realistic to have, you know, just, I don't know, some little somethings on there. Totally not necessary though. Like that is again, like it depends on how much I like you. Ha <laughs> ha. Because I may or may not have time for that. And so um, you can pop that in the light just for the blue background, like for five seconds is all it's gonna take. And then you can choose whether you wanna do matte or shiny for your top coat. So um, hopefully this uh, inspired you and will unlock a whole nother level of what you can do with the Wildflowers painting gels. Uh, they, you can do some really awesome stuff with them and I'm really excited to share that with you. Sorry, just turning my light really fast so I don't cure my matte. The matte uh, top coat from Wildflowers is very light sensitive. So um, just be careful with it because it's easy to cure the top of your bottle. Very easy to cure the top of the bottle. And we'll cook that baby. But yeah, so um, where did the designs go that I was just showing you a minute ago? Um, you know, you can do something as intricate with the painting gels as like this right here, which is one stroke. So you can do this kind of stuff uh, with the painting gels. And of course, like here's just some traditional one stroke type stuff. You can do this sort of thing, which is where you're taking it and using it like watercolors. So this is kind of the start to sort of messing around doing petals. Um, but then you can take this to a whole nother level and really um, get in and uh, create, you know, shadows with it. You can, um, these are done with the painting gels right here. Um, this is a bit of a mixture. Um, I did use the gray ink, but this is predominantly painting gels here. Um, all of these ones over here, that color fade that you see where the colors are sort of melting in there. Um, this one as well. Uh, lots of uh, painting gel stuff going on over here. So um, lots of really neat stuff you can do with them. And I hope that this inspires you to um, play, with your, play with your painting gels in a new way and experiment and try some stuff and don't be afraid of it uh, because there's so much more probably than what you realize. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I am excited to see you all try it. Uh, if you try it, I'd love for you to tag me. It just makes my day when you do that, that's all. Um, you know, I'm sure I'm not the first one to paint a maple leaf on a nail. So I'm not asking for credit on the design. I just, it just makes me so tickled when I see that you all watched it and tried it. It makes me so happy because that's why these are the, yeah, the butter paints um, we discontinued. So these we like better because they are much more versatile for what we do at Wildflowers. But it just really tickles us um, when you guys take the time to watch a tutorial and when it helps you um, with what you do on the day-to-day -day in the salon. Uh, it just, it really makes us so happy. So that's why I ask, like tag us and, you know, it, it just makes us smile really big. That's all. So uh, anything else while I'm here trying to uh, remember? Oh, I do have an important announcement for those of you who are on the... Uh, sorry, just coming back here. Ooh, hello. Um, yeah, don't do the black, Kathy. You got to try that way. It's really like not very hard. Uh, those of you, okay, whew, there we go. Those of you on the competition team, we're going to have to move tomorrow night's meeting um, to Thursday. So I will post it. I meant to post it earlier and I'm so sorry. I got, um, you know, I was telling Aaron, I was like, yeah, I totally meant to. And then Monday happened and then everything else just rolled down the hill like a giant snowball. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to have to move our meeting to Thursday night. Uh, so hopefully uh, y'all can still make it or if not, you can catch us on the um, replay for that, but, uh, we're excited. I'm excited to teach you something new. I'm so excited that that made so many of you so excited. So I'm very tickled. And again, if you decide to try it, let me know. Um, 
again, the painting gels, sorry, I know there's a weird blurry thing over here, my bad. The painting gels I am, thanks Stephanie. The painting gels I am doing um, some smaller bundles, okay? So those of you, um, we heard you asking, uh, just to let you know, there will be, let's see, one, two, three, four, four bundles of six that we're gonna do this week. And there will be four bundles of three. So if you are trying to kind of get started somewhere and then kind of add on to your collection, um, these bundles that we have are um, different than the rainbow set. The rainbow set has black, it has white, it has, yeah, still at eight o'clock. Whoever asked that about the competition team, it just, I saw it for a split second and I went up. Uh, the painting gels still have, um, the rainbow set still has all that stuff and we'll continue to do the rainbow set, but this is like in addition. So if you've purchased the rainbow set of painting gels and you're like, man, I really wanna add some of those other colors, uh, these bundles will be great for you if you wanna do that, you know, in little chunks, so. Uh, any other questions before I run? I am uh, so honored to be able to be a part of your life and to be able to teach you stuff. It makes me so happy. I'm honored to like have your attention for the hour that y'all give me. I know that there are so many things going on uh, out there and you're we're all, I think, constantly bombarded by stuff. So um, our business phone number is 239-677-0500. Uh, you can call, um, I don't know if, um, like if you called right now, you'd be able to order, but you can also text if you wanna do it by text, Alicia, Sam. Um, uh, but our website is wildflowersnails.com if you want to uh, go to our website and order that way. Uh, make sure you check out that sale tab. Uh, but I really am honored uh, to even have your attention for this hour. Like, thank you so much for joining. And uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing, please share uh, with um, anyone that you think this tutorial will be useful for, anyone that you think would like it. I would really appreciate that. And make sure uh, you grab one of our starter boxes while we have them because we only have a limited amount and we are starting to get very low. So uh, yeah. Everyone have a fantastic night. Have a beautiful week. I hope that, yes, thanks, Kathy. Uh, I hope that you all, um, I hope that all of your dreams come true. 239 six. Oh my God, sorry. We have so many numbers. Six seven seven zero five seven eight. 239-677-0578. You can even text that number um, and uh, she might be able to get back to you faster if you text. This is just the, the phone number to Wildflowers, 239-677-0578. Um, yeah, thanks everyone. Happy fall, it's coming, it's coming so fast. I'm so excited, bye.